A teenager was supposed to plead guilty in December 2022 to offenses including committing mischief when he absconded and took part in a knife attack at Rest Bugis Hotel in March. On Monday, the Indonesian youth, now 19, pleaded guilty to six charges including assault and being a member of an unlawful assembly. He cannot be named due to a gag order. In November 2019, he was convicted of offences including dishonest misappropriation of property and was ordered to undergo reformative training. Offenders ordered to undergo such training are detained in a centre where they observe a strict regimen that can include foot drills and counselling. He was later released and made to wear an electronic tagging e-tagging device to monitor his movement. Instead of behaving, he armed himself with a metal rod and, together with four other teenagers on July 25, 2021, confronted another group in Towapeo at around 2 p.m. over a dispute involving vaporizer pots. That same night, the Indonesian teenager cut off the strap of his e-tagging device at around 9 p.m. He was arrested on July 26, 2021 and was expected to plead guilty in court on December 14, 2022, when he jumped bail. A warrant of arrest was issued against him. Around midnight on March 27, 2023, one of his friends, Noliana Hezuliana, was in a room at the Rest Bugis Hotel in Jalan Kubur, near Arab Street, with a group of people when she got into a disagreement with a 20-year-old man. Noliana, 24, was unhappy after the man told her she should not be with her boyfriend as he was in prison at the time. She was on a video call with the Indonesian youth and one Muhammad Gufran Sinafadli. 23. Later that morning when the 20-year-old man interrupted the conversation and insulted the pair. The prosecution told the court that an upset Noliana then invited the Indonesian youth and Gufran to the hotel room to teach the man a lesson. Despite not having a motorcycle license, the Indonesian, who had packed a bag with two serrated knives, rode a motorcycle to the Kalang area with Gufran riding pillion. The pair reached Rest Bugis Hotel at around 11 a.m. and Noliana took them up to the room. She knocked on the door and a 19-year-old woman opened it. The Indonesian slashed the woman twice with his knife before Noliana stopped him. He and Gufran proceeded to attack the 20-year-old man before fleeing the scene. The female victim was left with two large wounds while the man had multiple slash wounds, including on his head and arms. The male victim left the room and went to another hotel. Noliana then told the male victim about her role in the attack. Staff at the first hotel later spotted blood in the room and alerted the police. The male victim was arrested and taken by ambulance to Tan Tok San Hospital. He was discharged four days later. A medical report stated that injuries to his right knee joint and left hand may result in permanent disabilities. After the attack, the Indonesian youth was at the ground floor of a Kalang Baru block of flats when he spotted police officers running towards him at around 4 p.m. on March 27. He was running away from them when he dropped a karambit knife which has a curved blade resembling a claw. Officers arrested him after a half-hour chase. Police nabbed Gufran the next day. On Monday, the court called for a report to assess the Indonesian suitability for another stint of reformative training, and his case was adjourned to November. The cases involving Gufran and Noliana are still pending.